This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. So I definitely don't feel safe. <laughs> Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell. I'm Elliot Goff. And I'm really hot. And welcome back to Try Hards. We're gonna try, but it's gonna be hard. We're gonna try, because we're gonna try hards. Hey boys, I got a challenge for us. Uh, us? Yeah, that's me, that's you, and that's that guy. Hi guys, guys. you're new. It's so nice to be here, thank you for having me. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, 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 Bye. <laughs> boys, I'm gonna challenge us to s not die. That's oh. the challenge. Oh. I've been doing that my entire life. Then that's, um, that, I count that as unfair preparation time and you are disqualified from this challenge. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the challenge this week is going to be to survive as long as you can. In the wild. And by wild, I mean our gardens. The challenge is going to be enter your garden and you have to stay in your garden as long as you can and, and not die. So the way it's going to work is we're all going to get a box of the same size and the things you're allowed to bring with you, excluding your camera and the clothes you're wearing, you have to fit in that box. That's it. You will, we'll have access to power to charge our cameras and water because I'm not completely mad. But other than that, what you bring is what you get. No phones allowed. I think that just would mean that would make things almost too easy mentally. But I was just going to be on TikTok for like 48 hours straight, Tom. Huh? That's unfair. I, I want to make it clear to our audiences, you're not going to see us pooping in this video. I promise to protect you from this. <laughs> that's a discussed. Patreon exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that's it. Let's, let's go and survive, boys. Let's go try hard. Ooh. It looks, it that feels looks gross. appetizing. It feels horrible. Oh, that feels like fucking dog food. Oh god, a poop shovel. Oh my god, they got sporks? That's crazy. That's so little random. So I'm at an actual store because I want to physically look at and hold the things before I buy them because I don't want to order them online only to discover they don't actually fit in my box like a big fucking moron. That'd be really stupid. That'd be a really stupid thing to do. Ah. Hubris. So let's do let's do a reboxing. What's the opposite of an unboxing? A, a reboxing. Let's let's rebox this, shall we? So I wanted to to try find the smallest tent I possibly could. That's good. That fits. I thought it was a one-person tent, but it's got a two on it, so I presume it's a two-person tent. Now this I didn't actually have to buy. This is Nest. This is like an inflatable mattress, kind of like an air mattress, but a bit more stable. I don't like air mattresses, so let's pop that right. Right in there. So I have a tent. This one now fits into the box. I did have a bigger tent, but it's too big. So I have a smaller one that goes in like like that. So this one fits. Yes, it does. An inflatable mattress. It won't fit. It will fit, I think. It doesn't. I think it will. I <laughs> but I do. So regarding food, I figured the best way to get the most bang for my buck uh, in terms of just stuff that is going to provide energy that I can cram into a tiny little space, I thought beef jerky. Little, little dehydrated meat. That's going to pack down really nice. And also some like meal supplement powder. Obviously this bag is very big, but I'm going to empty these into smaller containers because this you just mix with water and you've got some like protein and energy, blah, blah, blah. And this is just... Dehydrated meat. Next, we have this little thing. This little, tiny little water bottle which shot, rolls up, which is quite fun. As much as I would love to drink out of the hose the entire time, I just think having having something like this is a, is a good thing to have, to be honest. Pop that in. SPF. Always wear SPF, even if you're not doing dumb challenges. That's a tip from Elliot right there. Travel body biodegradable wipes. Not only is it going to be helpful for my, to get the stinky when I need to get the stinky and I can wipe the stinky places that will remain unnamed. <laughs> That's right, sure. So I was going to like use that to like draw while I'm outside. So that could go in the box. Yeah, oh dear. This is what I'm worried about. This is a sleeping bag. Okay, so this does fit, but like it really doesn't give me much room. Oh God, I'm really bleeding. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I got a cut on my finger. All right, it's time to play what's in my box. First of all, we have a one person tent. Will this fit me? I literally don't know. Some like floor padding, which apparently also doubles as a blanket or something. That's pretty cool. And a sleeping bag, extra large. Will I fit? Also don't know. We have uh, another bit of padding, uh, which is inside a Tango Ice Blast uh, cup for life, for water inside of another cup for measuring and other such reasons. Some bug spray, 
because there are so many mosquitoes in my garden and I know what they're planning. After bite, just in case I do get bitten, I've got a little mini toothbrush and then just some painkillers and stuff in case I find myself in pain. So I wasn't aware that you could get travel meals that are, that are relatively quite thin and you just add water and it'll be ready in five minutes. I'm both terrified and excited about these. So this one's scrambled egg with cheese and caramelized onion, mac and cheese, and we've got porridge and blueberries. They also came with uh, a dessert. Elliot, what wide variety of desserts have you got? Well, you see, I've got custard and apple, uh, custard with apple. I also have um, a custard with apple. And you may be asking, Elliot, that's all well and good, but what about lunch? Well, here, my friend, is my lunch options. <laughs> They're a protein bar, so they are filling. They'll really fill me up, hopefully. Ah, thank you, Rick. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, and a kiss as well. Thank you, Rick. These are yeah. LED glove lights. Oh. I was going to get like a torch. I was going to get like mm -hmm. these like classy light bulbs. But then I thought it would be really funny to get these stupid glove torches, like finger torches. <laughs> <laughs> These are so stupid. <laughs> but I figured they would help me when I have to wee in the night. Because <laughs> I can just point this way. Go this way, penis. <laughs> that does not leave enough room. <laughs> I have to get stuff like food <laughs> in here still. Ah! Beef jerky, meal supplement powder, toilet roll. Not looking forward to having to use this. Some cleansing wipes, just in case I get a little bit groggy and need a wipe down. A thin pillowcase for the inflatable mattress, an extra pair of underwear, socks, and handkerchief. Yeah, I'm bringing a handkerchief, what of it? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, you're not gonna do nothing. A little portable light for the tent, a little portable light for my head, deodorant, sketchbook, and pen. Sun cream, because this is happening during a heat wave. A book, I've never read a book, but what if I get really bored and I need to read a book? Sunglasses, iPod. I Pod charger, half a little bar of soap, throwing knives for in case I get really bored, some sweeties because I'm a little snacky boy, and a comic book because why not. Lid on, nice, nice, thumbs nice, nice. That's biscuit town. My custard don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. So I do have a little bit of room. So we have some coffee. I feel like I'm gonna have to decant this into something. That'll last me a few days, I think. I wanna see if I can try fit my laptop in here. <laughs> No, that can work. Let's see if we, um, I want to get the it, me closing it on video. Here. Aha! There you go. That's your proof. All nice and closed. Brilliant. So we've done a bit of a food shop, hoping I can squeeze in as much as I can. May have to take things out of packaging and put them into baggies or something. God, I'm worried. <laughs> I have to choose between taking an uh, apple or a can of Coke. A can of Coke wins? A can of Coke wins. That's shut. I think that's as good as, I mean, yeah, it is not as much as I'd like to take. God, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's borderline, that is. One second. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is clear this space a bit and set up camp. Tools that live in the garden don't count. This is a health hazard. <laughs> clean de poo poo, clean, clean de poo poo. This is an old exercise mat that's just been left out here for months. Maybe that'll give me some padding, I don't know. So it appears the part of the garden that I wanna build my tent uh, is atop an ant's nest, which is not great because that's this is really the only flat bit of my garden. So do I just build on top of an ant's nest knowingly and just hope they leave me alone? Oh, oh man. Pinky, what do you think I should do? You think I should go behind the shed? I think that would help very much. Fuck it. In my house. My rule. Oh, 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 oh. The outside world. Am I in short or am I too tall? You know, I was actually quite excited for this, but now I'm quite dreading it, to be honest. Not only just because the uh, the fence decided to fall down, so I don't have a fence there anymore. So not ideal. See, if you can't tell already, I'm wearing a lot of clothing. That's how I'm getting around the whole clothing situation. Just pile it on, and then I'm gonna take it all off. And that's gonna be my clothing pile. That's gonna be what I'm gonna have to deal with for the next few days. First thing on the agenda is I need to cut that grass and to get it all nice and neat so I can put up a tent on it. Well, actually first I need to take off these clothes because this is ridiculous. I'm sweating already. It's too much. It's too much. <sighs> okay. <sighs> all right, let's get erect. So if you're wondering why I've set it up here on the uh, 
patio rather than on the grass. I kind of just want to avoid being like seen by like the neighboring windows and look like a weirdo in the garden. So I've parked it basically right up close to the house. So no one can see me, basically, which is creepier now that I've said it out loud. Now I have to move on to the next step. I'm going to bed. All right. Always good to see something that's gonna make you really sweaty at the start of the challenge. Slightly cleaner area now, ladder as well. So just gotta build a tent now. Gross. Not very flat. Let's see how this feels. Hi, hi. This could be worse. Oh man, my spine is not handling that well. Oh, this is a bad idea. This, is, this whole video was a bad idea. All right, so. I can use my tools outside, which is good, because that'll bring me some entertainment, such as cutting the grass up we're going to do now. That done. Freshly cut grass. Oh no, my crow went off. All right, I'm up. Good morbid. Oh good, my mattress deflated overnight. Last night was an experience. So I used to camp at festivals and obviously I am somewhat older since I last went and that was very uncomfortable. The mattress kept deflating. I found a hole, I got some tape, but it's completely out of reach. So I've had to improvise with some sticker of some kind. That won't hold, it, it definitely won't hold. So I think I'm doomed to just sink in the night. I am not the young man I once was. Excuse me, that's my bed, not your bed. <laughs> so Rick, what do you think of the tent? It's really good. <laughs> I got you, Dad. <laughs> I got you, Dad. You got me. Let's see if the sleeping bag actually fits because I have no idea. Ha! Oh, there's literally no wiggle room. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in it. Getting in and out of this thing to piss is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah, this seems very straightforward. Okay, I have something resembling a tent. Let's see if I actually fit in the damn thing. It's snug getting in here. This is not a forgiving entranceway. All right, I am in a tent. <laughs> yeah, what she sees, am I right? <laughs> oh no. How the fuck did you get in? God damn it. All right, so as far as comfort goes, I'm not experiencing that but at least i've angled the tent correctly and i'm not i think at an angle i think i have earned a little treat oh nice to have to pop up a tent i think let's let's try to do that let's get a home base sorted shall we I'm a bit annoyed it didn't come with the, the pegs. That would have saved a lot of hassle, to be honest. It just fits, which is nice. Need to blow up that pillow end. And that's all pillow. All right, I've officially made a tent down. I have organized my shelter, got all my food product, got a club corner, and I got the power. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a sit down and relax. It, oh, I filled up my water bowl from the house. The, the biggest issue is that it's all, it is floppy, but it makes drinking out of it a little difficult. You have to properly suck on it, you know. Mm. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my let's play of City Skylines uh, from the tent, from my new tent. I'm, I'm getting all outdoorsy, I am. Definitely has nothing to do with the fact that my wife kicked me out. I, sh I hope that she lets me back in the house soon. When I came outside, I came with a question. I figured a lot of time to myself is a time to be introspective, ask the big questions. And there is none bigger than, where is Wally anyway? <laughs> Surprise, it's an headache video. 
I brought with me this Where's Wally book. It compiles a bunch of the original books together into one book and I've gone through every single page to locate the Wally and then I kept track of it on a massive board to try and figure out where is the most common location of a Wally. So for those of you who are wondering what a Where's Wally is, basically it's the puzzle books. Uh, they may also be known as Waldo in places where you're wrong. It's these ornate pages full of characters and stuff, and there's these hidden characters, Wally amongst them, and you have to find them. Oh, come on, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. While I respect you, I do not have time for you right now. Please stop going towards my house. You want the ball? Yeah. This will kill a few minutes. <laughs> Let's go to bed. <laughs> oh God, why am I doing this? This is such a bad idea. So I definitely don't feel safe. Like I know I'm not actually in any danger, but like I, there's so much wildlife around me. I live quite next to a woods. So there's often foxes and dozens of squirrels coming through my garden every day. And I can hear them. I can hear them moving around. And my caveman brain is like, you're in danger. So that's fun. <laughs> Something you may not know about me is that I have slept with a fan. Not like that. On every night for like 23 years or so. Uh, I need white noise to sleep. I need distraction or else I'll focus on everything. And I tried to load some white noise onto my iPod, but uh, it didn't work. So that's cool. Hey look, I have a special guest. She was worried. She wanted to come say hello and give me a cuddle. You are right, you're confused. Daddy has a weird job. Yeah, I have a weird job. All right, let's try our food items, shall we? Some good old mac and cheese. Just had water ready in five minutes. And now we wear. It doesn't look great. Mm, that's not bad, but it's not good. Oh, oh no, my precious macaroni. All right, now try the whole custard and apple. I hope it's good, because I got three of them. Still feels a bit wet, but we'll have a, have a see. It's not nice. It's really not nice. Reminds me of baby food. Don't know why I remember baby food. Not good. Cheers. Pretty nice. I don't need desserts. These are great. That is a bit rusty. Hmm. I don't know how old this wood is. <laughs> this wood is from 2017. It's five years old. This looks like a nest, but there's nothing in it. All right, let's cook some breakfast. You know, I just had a genius idea. This isn't going well. You need to move. You might be in danger of not getting burnt. All right. Sod it. Come on, just give me one. Well, I've made a lot of smoke. Like Thomas the Tank Engine if he went to hell. Oh, even the one that fell in the fire didn't cook. Well, I made it through the night. Nature was uh, singing me a lovely song all night, but I guess the consistency of that was better than only the occasional sound. My body is in pain. <laughs> That's for sure, <laughs> but it could have been a lot worse. But uh, it's starting to heat up now. The sun is rising and I can feel this tent is going to start cooking soon. So time to get out. Good morning. All right, let's, let's make some brekkie. Mmm, gourmet. I'm not saying I fucked that up, but there's a chance. All right, this has now been stirred enough. Let's see if this meal replacement lives up to its singular promise. Mmm, yummy. <sighs> uh -oh. Yeah, I'm a genius. Icky. Give me a little dip in there. I do know how to brush my teeth, I promise. Are you comfy? No, that makes one of us. Okay, oh, Bob. This is not going to be nice, is it? I just spread right up my book. <laughs> all right, so this is the situation. This is all the wood that I have to deal with. Wow, look how much is shot. Look how much my fair sister started. <sighs> I spent too long in the garden. <laughs> when I was a young boy, just a wee boy, we used to go miles. Some wood, good some 
bin is absolutely stuffed so i could technically chop a bit more just for future me but honestly fuck future me i'm tired i'm gonna have some water get my lunch and probably play some more city skyline for a bit recharge so for this page i'm looking for a wally that's holding a bone i've looked and I can't find the bastard. There's this whole section here that's been ripped off. I think Rick <laughs> ripped that off. He's probably there, isn't he? He's probably right where that was meant to be. Um, I did try seeing if I could find the missing page in the house without going in the house, but no such luck. Okay, so you can see that like it's not the full page, right? It's just like the top layer of the page. So I'm wondering if like, if I hold it up to the light, maybe, maybe I can see through and... <gasps> Bone! Bone! Okay, I'll give up on this page. Bone! Wow. <laughs> so we got a guy, he's got a little noose. He's like, I can't do this anymore. And then he's like, I quit. Because he, he wasn't going to kill himself. He just works at the noose factory. That's that's the joke. It's not very quotable, but it's fun. I'm actually quite sleepy. I could go and have a little nap, but the problem is is that the tent is in direct sunlight and will be in direct sunlight pretty much all day and it is burning hot to the touch. So I can't get in it. So I'm just kind of sat stuck here in the one bit of shade because it is so hot today. I don't want to go out in the sun and get covered in sweat because if I do that then I'm going to be sweaty and that's going to massively half the amount of time I can spend out here. I'm, I'm, I get very uncomfortable if I'm dirty. So in the shade I hide. All right, meal number two. We've got scrambled egg, cheese and caramelized onion. It doesn't... Just threw open my mouth a little bit after the smell. Doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. That's what it looks like. I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. Like my body is already, not, is already like, I already feel like I'm gonna throw up. Don't know why I blew in it. <laughs> that bag was a little hard on the inside. Nah, fam. Nah. That's diabolical. That's awful. <sighs> not good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's grenade bars for me tonight. Great, good, happy. These were a mistake. These were a mistake. And here are the results. So as you can see, there's some intense clusters sort of in the bottom right corner and the bottom left corner. Uh, that, these, that does seem to be where Wally tends to congregate the most. However, you can see these neighboring clusters. They're a lot more commonplace on the right page than on the left page. Again, that makes sense because of the, the postcard thingy in the top left. However, what I'm seeing is there's like lots of empty spaces. Look at this big void down here. Like he really doesn't appear in the bottom left of the right page. Yeah, it's quite surprising. What this says to me is that the placement of the Wallies is not actually random. It's definitely a human-made thing. Otherwise, if it was like a robot or a computer that automated randomness, you know, this would be evenly spread. But we're seeing like a, a cluster of three and uh, clusters of threes and clusters of fours. I think what this means is that as long as there is a person behind the Wally and not a computer, then your most likely best bet to find a Wally will be on the right page towards the bottom right. Start there first. This also would explain why there are more over there, because you want to start at the top and then you'd kind of work your way down, wouldn't you, looking for That's wallets. very true. That's a very, that's an astute point. Yeah, as, as a person reads from top left to the bottom right, it makes sense that they would be last. Which goes to show, these things are always in the last place you look for them. Do, 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 do. We've had some friends pop over. I figure it's not cheating, as long as I don't take anything from them. Conversation's free, I think. I didn't have to fit them in the box before I came out here. I didn't have to fit Squidge in the box. He visits me all the time. This isn't my di No! This is all I have to my name. You can't have it. No, not for you. Hello, welcome. Welcome back to part two of my Let's Play. It's wet. It's rainy. Frankly, 
I understand what she meant by the beer, but I don't want to be controlled by the mass media who puts the chemicals in our deodorants. Anyway, look at this highway connection that I've made. I think it's really cool. So since I thought I'm out here in the garden anyway, I might as well take care of some gardening. There's been a lot of like these thorny branches growing out here and there. So I thought I'd prune all those, chuck them into a bin. Oh, wood. Well, that would have been useful to know about an hour ago. So the garden's a bit tidier, you know? You may notice that we actually have astro turf. We don't have actual grass because I usually suffer with terrible hay fever. And that was one of the things I was scared about being outdoors was because like when we recently had the Queen's Jubilee, like I was really suffering with, with hay fever. Like eyes were watering, my nose was streaming, sneezing a lot. Like it's, it's horrible and it's been really bad. Maybe because I've been indoors for the past two years, finally being outdoors, like it's all hitting me all at once, or there may be just a greater pollen count than normal. Great, good for me. In a bit of a preparation for all this, I actually had a hay fever injection. I was gonna record it for this, but um, I had to have it in the bum. Uh, I guess I'll do a re recreation for you now. Oh yeah, Mr. Bolly, this is the finest butt I've ever seen. <laughs> There, you are cured. I've been spending my time wisely. If you're wondering how I've uh, improved my trick shot game since the trick shot tryhards, check this out. That would have been pretty sick if that actually stayed upright. <laughs> you thought that was cool? Check this out. <laughs> He's like. Guess who? Nah. Then how about Monopoly? Because he's talking about the board game. It's a funny joke. Look out, he's got a pun. Like, look out, he's got a gun. But it's a get flying ant, fuck off. So I thought I'd settle down and start reading the book that Charlie recommended me. I get to the first page and discover that it is the second book in a series, meaning I, I can't read it because it won't make any sense. So I am now out of entertainment. Like bringing a book was a big part of my plan to pass the time and stay sane. So I think I might start going a bit mad tomorrow. Just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna stop the whole in the tent footage. It doesn't look great, does it? It's just very dark. It's just very dark. Dog, isn't it? And I also come to the realization that there's just a lot of dogs in the area. Me and Nat have been informed that there's also kennels nearby. So there's a lot, like a, there's a lot of barking dogs in one specific area. They can hear from a mile away. I don't know if you can hear it right now, because it's probably the mic cap there, but there's literally dogs barking right now. There is dogs barking all day. All right. That's the end of uh, day two. I'm literally just gonna do fuck all for the rest of the evening. Goodbye. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry. I really am. Mm, mm, yum, yum, yum. That feeling when you thought you ran out of food and then you found something chocolatey. You know, at one point, I was actually contemplating eating toothpaste. I needed something, anything, any semblance of joy in my mouth. I decided to move the tent. I figured if the mattress is going to deflate, I'd rather deflate on artificial grass than patio. It's quite difficult just being, you know, just existing without stimuli, just the mild distraction of the phone or computer or just another person really. Have we forgotten to just be and exist in the moment? You know, it's quite lovely out here. It's hard to break free when you've been in it for so long. I'm getting quite poetic right now, but I guess because I'm fucking bored. <laughs> fucking tropical birds. Well, I'm awake a lot earlier than I'd like to be. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with all my time. I'm going a bit mad. <laughs> uh, something appears to have visited and subsequently pissed on me. That's polite. Mmm, gruel. Um, did I say you could eat my apples? <sighs> Don't sit there and judge me. You don't know my life. Guys, great news, my iPod has a radio function. For evil men will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. You're a bit dirty too, actually. I'm happy some bourbon today. It's quite warm. So in the garden, there's this whole, I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's a gardening term for it, but this whole area, 
is just a bit crap. I want to kind of organize it, make it look a little nicer, I guess. I'm gonna get my trowel and just go for it. And just do it, you know? Definitely a change from what it was last time. I feel like I need to get rid of this ivy stuff, but maybe it's fine. Gardening. Uh, it's not going well. The fact that the fire didn't work at the start, which meant I lost out on all of that bacon, which was basically almost all my food supply. Um, everything else was just kind of in addition to that. That was meant to at least see me through to lunchtime, maybe dinner time tomorrow. The fact is like, I probably got to call it quits in the morning. All I had left was one small tin of beans and the fact that like I was completely aimless, I was lost, I had nothing to do until I had that tin of beans and then it meant the world to me. <laughs> I want this to be over so I'm going to call it quits tomorrow before the whole Wally thing starts messing with my bloody brain. <laughs> Newts, 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 newts. Oh yeah, I'm posting that spicy newt content. Mmm. Shredding up the jerky, shredding up the jerky. Like he's for the newts. Squid is taking great personal offense that I would feed the newts and not him. This is pink. See, I think I could stop here and be perfectly proud of myself. I think I've done enough uh, to count this successful try. But, you know, I just feel like it's not tryhards unless I push myself a little bit further. So I'm gonna try and go for another night. I've actually been contemplating uh, cheating. I've been in, in that desperate of a state that I've been weighing up the possibilities of just faking footage and just telling the boys that I, I, I went for longer than I did. That's where I'm at. More gruel, <laughs> yummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a POV, shall we? I'm running out of things to do, to be honest. Like, I still could do some more gardening stuff, but it'll just be the same thing over and over again, to be honest. I don't, I've not got nothing new for you. I think what I'm gonna do is have a bit of a rest, drink some water, hydrate myself. I finished the day off with uh, the, one of the, the last awful meal that I have, and head back inside and have a nice actual shower. They were under the tent. The pegs. They were under the tent. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. You warm. Yeah, it's a nice sunny day, isn't it? Yep, looks like looks like blueberry sick. You know what? Not bad. It's actually kind of the nicest one. Gonna probably not finish this and order a pizza. Cheers. <laughs> I had a better night's sleep last night. I think I got like seven to eight hours, but didn't feel like it. But I wasted no time in packing everything up. I think I got too worked up and worried about finding ways to be sort of entertaining on camera, but I failed to just plan better. In a way, it feels weird. I feel trapped outside. You know, it's like being in lockdown again. We were trapped inside. And now I can't wait to get back inside again. <laughs> Now I need to sort out the big bucket of piss. I think I'm done. Last of the jerky and the last Haribo. The end is nigh and you still can't have any. <sighs> done. Hi. Oh. oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> I think I say this after everyone, but fucking hell. Oh my God. Why did we do that? Eddie, how did that go for you? Badly. <laughs> <laughs> so I I set out with a plan and- um, <laughs> Good start. We, we, yeah. <laughs> I, I so. hope so, the bare, the bare minimum. <laughs> oh, I'm outside now. <laughs> so in my garden, I've got like a, like it's kind of like a chimney fireplace mm. stove type thing. And my plan was that I was going to start a fire 
and I brought out with me a pack of bacon. And I was going to cook the bacon on my little stove. And that was going to be 90% of my food supply. No. Oh, God. I couldn't light the fire. <laughs> Please tell me before you went up, you watched a tutorial on how to light a fire. No. So you Fucking just assumed no, that if you I... gathered wood. You know why it was like a monumentous occasion in human history when we figured out how to do this? Because it's not that easy. Like... So I, I basically had, to last me my entire stretch, I basically had like a couple of tins of beans. <laughs> that was like small tins as well. This man brought beans. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that <laughs> and he brought beans. Well, thank you for your service. <laughs> Braver than any marine. Oh boy. Tom, how did you do? Did you have just as bad a time as me? Apparently, fucking not, my guy. Because I thought uh, I put a bit more thought into the food situation mm. uh, and didn't pack anything that I could fuck up. Uh, so I brought um, meal supplement like protein powder uh, and beef jerky uh, packed down. So that was. That was just the food that I had, and that's that, flat food. Yes, and I basically comfortably brought about four days uh, worth of, of that. I also had one pack of Haribo, which I would like oh. give myself one every six hours as like a motivation to a be like naughty little treat. Oh, oh absolutely! Wow. <laughs> I, was, I was. There were points where I was. That's all I was living for. Like I was looking at a clock. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was like. I'm, and now I will wait another six hours. <laughs> I just sat there for two hours waiting till I can have my dinner beans. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> but I made it and I made it to a time that I was pretty proud of. So all in all, this guy did pretty good. good. So Elliot, yes. how did thou try goeth? I had a great time. Oh fuck you. I, I did a lot of gardening. I fucking I <laughs> fucking love gardening. <laughs> I like I was like, this is kinda cheap. I brought my laptop and just played video games. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> you, got a piece of you shit. said no phones. I mean, um, I guess I'll. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a fucking where's Wally book, and I solved that in two hours. <laughs> I did fuck all for so long. I, I literally played video games most of the time. <laughs> I, had a, I had a book I couldn't read. How do you think I fucking feel? <laughs> I think it was great. I had a great time. Um, I spent most of the, like a lot of time. I had to like go. Oh, I should probably do some content because I'm really enjoying some Skylines right now. But I should. Like, you do a fucking let's play while you're at it. Yeah. I did do that. That's a joke. That's a new video. <laughs> so now it's time for the the big round that everyone is looking forward to. Did you shit? No. Ugh. I probably because you didn't have any fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Um, so in my garden, I've also got like Rick has like a playhouse. It's like a little cubby house type thing. Uh -huh. And so uh, that's where I kept my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. It's a lot of piss, but no poop. Were you pissed in the bucket? I pissed in the He's bucket. He's an astroturf. I don't think he had oh, anywhere to actually put human... Okay. Oh, yeah, no. It was, a, it was a big bucket full of piss. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's... Gross, dude. Like, I, at least, like, I would accept shit in a bucket, but piss in a bucket is a whole new level for me. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like piss in the bucket. Uh, Elliot, did you shit? Yeah. Many times, I assume. No, I think technically twice. I tr I tried once. I, I you pinched I, it off. Well, it was more that I got nervous because the, <laughs> there was like I'm all I was on edge of just like because the fence is gone. Yeah. <laughs> so I was constantly on edge of just like I can't do it. I'm too nervous. I'm too nervous to do it right now. So it was just a it was just a bucket of farts. <laughs> like I just I just had to, I had a few farts out there and I was like I can't do this I have to go. Like, if they hear that fart they're coming. I don't know, I don't know why that was in my mind. They just to hear farts and be like I've got to stop this. Great. I've got to stop this crime that's happening. Here's a dramatic reenactment. Poopy 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 poop 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 poop. I shit. I made a toilet out of uh, I took a couple of the garden chairs and there was a plank of wood and I just shit on the ground. Oh wow! <laughs> I tried to. I, I really did. I was hoping that because I was on this like protein only, like um, no carb thing, that, that my body would just kind of like lock down and hold on to the food it had, mm. which is which it does normally do. Um, but no, uh, it just uh, after a while it just went. It is poo time, and I was like, okay, can we at least wait until nightfall? And I was like, no, no, <laughs> broad daylight. No, no, fully, fully like <laughs> eleven a.m. You're gonna shit now. I guess all that's left now is to reveal our times. Time time. And I have a theory about what order it's gonna go in, so we'll go in that order, shall? We? Eddie, how long did you make it? 36 hours. I fucking knew you'd have done exactly 36 hours. Love that. Good job. Uh, I went for 60 hours. Fucking hell. That's 6 0. Thank you. It was, I forced myself to do one last night and then I came in at like 6 a.m. Now, Elliot. <laughs>
12 hours. I had a mental breakdown. Oh no. I had a complete anxiety attack and I had to go inside. What? Oh no. Yeah. I didn't make it. <laughs> oh God. You. I, ha I had a full on cry. I like started crying. I had to go. I like, I, I, ha I just started shaking. I woke up at like 1 a.m. in the middle of the night and was shaking. God damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> And it was awful. It was the, probably the worst experience I've had in a long time. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. I only went to 60 hours because I thought you made it like 80. <laughs> I still went in the garden every single other day. Because I enjoyed it. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> but, like I even went in the tent and set, played video games still just to get the content and everything. <laughs> oh my so, god! So for, the, for most of the week I did spend in the garden, but just that one night. <laughs> what? Oh, well done, Tom! You I won! <laughs> I thought it took was Elliot having a mental breakdown. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, so that was... I can't believe I won one this season. <laughs> I genuinely thought I was going to go like 6 nil uh, and get to get nothing. Yeah. So, hooray, I've got one. So we've had, we've had one, one each. each. One yeah, each. One each. Yeah, we're one each so far this season. So, hooray. hooray. Let's, let's, start, let's start picking a winner. I, we can't draw. That's going to be bullshit. Well, thank you very much for watching. We have a Patreon. If you go on that, you'll see a massive extended cut of this video. Uh, you'll you'll you access our Patreon only Discord. It's full of weirdos. We got um, podcasts every month when we don't when it's not late, which is never. So I'm selling this really well. Uh, bye. 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 <laughs> Guys, it's been it's been four weeks. Can I come back in now? Hey you. Thank you for. Patrons, we appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.